NC, Getty MH370 officials believe they know what happened to the missing plane MH370, which had 239 people on board, vanished on March 8, 2014 off the coast of Western Australia during a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, having apparently veered wildly off course. The jet's whereabouts have remained a mystery ever since. And now experts say Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah carried out a series of maneuvers to evade detection to ensure the flight disappeared in a remote location, as seen on Australian TV program 60 Minutes. They claim the pilot was killing himself and took the plane to a remote spot so it would disappear. This was planned, this was deliberate, and it was done over an extended period of time. Martin Dolan, former head of the Australia Transport Safety Bureau so much so, the officials also point out that the Malaysian captain made an unexplained turn to fly over his hometown of Penang. Simon Hardy, Boeing 777 pilot and instructor, told the program, somebody was looking of the window, it might be a long, emotional goodbye or a short, emotional goodbye to his hometown, as the aircraft went across Thailand and Malaysia, it runs down the border, which is wiggling underneath, meaning it's going in and out of those two countries, which is where their jurisdictions are, so both of the controllers aren't bothered about this mysterious aircraft. Cause it's, oh, it's gone, it's not in our space anymore. If you were commissioning me to do this operation and try and make a 777 disappear, I would do exactly the same thing, as far as I'm concerned, it's very accurate flying because think it did the job and we know, as a fact, that the military did not come and intercept the aircraft. Martin Dolan, former head of the Australia Transport Safety Bureau, who led the two-year search for the missing plane, added, this was planned, this was deliberate, and it was done over an extended period of time. John Dawson, a lawyer who represented nine families from MH370 and MH17, backed up the claim saying the evidence suggested one of the aircrew was responsible. Getty MH370, the search for the doomed airliner continues, he said, in MH370, you have the pilot flying between Malaysia and Beijing who turns back the aircraft. The evidence is so heavily weighted to involvement by one of the aircrew taking this aircraft down, that aircraft has probably depressurized, the people died of asphyxiation, it was premeditated murder, it was highly planned. The bodies have never been found.